Hello guys, sorry for my shitty English, but this is my first English only review, so apologize for all the Spanish speaking people, and well, apologize also for the English speaking people, but well, you know, I'm making this one in English. So, uh, first you're gonna have, uh, you wanna have installed the Magic ESO Virtual, I don't know, the Magic ESO Mounter, just to mount the games, so you, you wanna have this one installed and the SSF emulator in here um, to download this emulator just read the description you know and then you want to have the ultra ISO installed which is a program to convert different formats of, of images so it's also important to have it installed um, okay first uh, you want to have uh, the game downloaded any game of Sega Saturn you want to have just go to emuparadise.me emuparadise.me and here you'll find almost any game of Sega, uh, any console but especially for Sega Saturn you'll find any game you want just click and proceed and, and you know just choose the, the letter you want of the game and just download the game and have fun once the game is downloaded just make sure to save it. I personally save it inside my, my folder of the emulator. Just I created a ROM folder and put all my images in here. And the most important thing about this tutorial is to know which format is it's better uh, for the emulator itself. The best format I found that it was compatible with almost all the games is MDF MDS. This special format is the one you want to have, which is the format from the Alcohol 120. <clears throat> if you happen to download the image in ISO or QBIN or whatever, you want to have it transformed into this format. So, how the fuck would you modify it uh, to make it this format? Okay, that's so easy. So you just download the image, download the game, then you open Ultra ISO. Once it's open, just open the the image you know once you open the image a lot of files will appear in here like a big list and all you want to do is like just click convert and just select alcohol MDF MDS when it's selected just click and convert and um, and the files will be created so it's not such a big deal but it's pretty important to know about that because if you download in other formats in my case for example a lot of games won't work, um, you'll have like a black screen and the emulator will crash. So this is the best format I've found, like 90% of the games will work, so it's almost perfect. So it's, it's, a, it's a great way to make it work. So once you have your image converted in this format, as you see in here, a lot of all the games are in the same format, just open the emulator. Uh, you want to uh, copy all my configurations, so just look, look at my options, and just copy all the same. You don't need to download BIOS, that's great, because you don't need to download any BIOS. The program just recognize the image and play the game without needing to, uh, to download the BIOS or any of that shit. Here you can choose 4 megabytes in RAM or 1, uh, you know, I just it's just better to choose oh sorry to choose four megabytes especially when you want to play some Neo Geo games for the Saturn here you can choose the array code which is useless because uh, every time you can you just boot up a Japanese or American game the program itself will recognize the region so it's fucking useless to select the, the code so screen just copy all this copy all the, the mark sheets sound the same controller you can redefine the controller you can plug you know if you have a Xbox 360 controller you can click it redefine and just 
just click on all the buttons and have your control configured. Um, then just copy all this, copy all this, just copy all this because it, it works perfect in my case, so it should work also for you. Make sure to click no BIOS. And here, just I would click full compatibility. It's the same. So that's not a very important. So. Now I'm gonna show you some real footage of me playing with the emulator. I'll have to change the program because the the capturing program that I'm using now only works for you know for simple stuff like this, like uh, recording uh, Windows and shit. But it doesn't work when you play games, so I'm gonna have to change my program, my recording program, so I can show you the real footage of the game. So. Uh, have a good day and hope it works. Fuckers! <laughs>